Here we're going to continue to examine the idea of domain with a function. Okay, this is a typical question you'll be asked uh, about certain functions um, with regard to their domain, and it is to determine the excluded values from the domain for the functions below. Okay, now when you get this question, you get these two types of problem functions, I'll call them. Okay, they have a problem with them to some extent. Okay, and this first one on the left is a rational function where we see it's got a variable in the denominator. Well, we know that from a basic number theory standpoint, the denominator can't be equal to zero. Okay, that would create a problem. And this one on the right is a uh, square root function. Well, they create, they have problems as well. Okay, the problems with them come from if you try to um, square root a negative. Okay, you cannot square root a number that is negative. Okay, these are big sort of red flags. Okay, with these types of functions. Okay, so then we make an application of these facts uh, about these functions in a very simple, straightforward way. But there's a very big idea that goes on behind them. It's based in both of these facts, these number theory facts. Okay, so if the denominator can't be zero and there's a variable in the denominator, well, let's find when the denominator would be equal to zero and just make the statement the, these values, um, this value or values are excluded from the, from the domain of the function. So subtract two, negative three x equals negative two, divide by negative three, and we get that x equals two-thirds. Well, by solving that equation, we get x equals two-thirds, but what we're saying is x can't equal two-thirds because it's excluded from the domain. Okay? So that's a statement somewhat of saying that it can't be equal to two-thirds. Okay, and this is because if you were to try to put two-thirds into this function for x, you would get a zero in the denominator, which means you would not get an answer for an output. So, again, x equals two-thirds is excluded from the domain, domain being the values of x that can work for a function. This is an example of one that cannot. That's why it is excluded. Similarly, over here on the right, we have a problem function to some extent. It's a square root function, and we can't can't square root a negative. So real simply, let's just say that 4 minus 5x is less than 0, because that's what it means to be negative. So I took the expression, the entire expression that was underneath the, uh, the radical sign, and I'm saying that it is less than 0 to examine those values that this would happen for. So I'm solving for x. If you notice, I get to a step here where I divide by a negative, okay? That's a little extra step, if you remember from Algebra 1 and Algebra 2, that x is greater than now. We had to flip the sign 4 fifths. And again, x is greater than 4 fifths are excluded values from the domain. I guess what we're saying is that x can be anything less than or equal to four-fifths, but the ones that are where we see that x is greater than four-fifths are values that don't work. They don't work in the sense that if we plug them into the function, you don't get an output. Uh, you would get an error message on your calculator. Feel free to uh, Take a second and try that on your calculator. Take a number that's bigger than four-fifths, that's something like two, and try and do g of two. Well, when you plug it in, you're going to get an error message on your calculator. Again, similarly with this problem on the left, if you tried to do f at two-thirds and plug that in on your calculator, you would get an error message. It's because these values are excluded from their respective domains for these functions. Okay? So, very big ideas here. The process is decently easy. On the left, you take the 
denominator of the problem and you set it equal to zero. Then just solve and find out what that value of x is that is excluded. Okay? Problems on the right where you have square root functions, you take the value that's underneath the square root symbol and set it less than zero, which we're saying that it's going to be negative, and solve and get x by itself there. Those values will tell you which ones are excluded from the domain in those functions.